What's going on guys? My name is James Collects and if you're finding me for the first time, I am both a Nerdy Collector and an eBay reseller. This video is a very quick combined roundup of both the, the midweek pickups and the Saturday car boot. The reason why I am combining the two is simply because I didn't buy a lot. There's like, yeah, maybe a dozen items. So it's just easier just to throw it all into one and we'll go from there. So first lot of items were some PSP games that I picked up from a not so local charity shop. Uh, I was just in between jobs. I had some time to kill. So I parked up and hit up three or four charity shops, all quite big named charity shops. Bit of hit and miss uh, and I bought the following. So we have a crash team racing on a PSP, paid £1.49. We also have, ah, uh, right, yeah. This is obviously not English, it's Japanese. Uh, I did do a very, very quick search when I was looking online. I could only see one Japanese version for sale. I believe it's in the US, I think it's about 30 quid. So for £1.49, I thought I would give it a well. And our last item that we bought from this particular charity shop was the Simpsons Platinum version. So I'm not sure whether I've got, well, and I've definitely got the black label version. So yeah, Platinum, I will probably end up getting rid of it at some stage because I don't really want to do both Platinum and black label PSP games because it's bad enough trying to do that with the PS2 and the PS1s. Next up is a load of PSP games from a Facebook Marketplace listing. Now this guy had these games listed for a long time. I knew that they were there. He originally wanted £12 for the lot. I waited and waited and waited and yeah, uh, they went down to £6 for the lot. So this is what I got for my £6. So there's obviously one game in there that is worth noting. All the others, not so much. So we've got Pro Evo 5, Pro Evo 2008, Championship Manager, uh, 250, Classic Goals, which is a UMD video. Uh, Lumines, uh, Lumines, sorry. Crash Tag Racing, which is Platinum. Smackdown vs Raw 2006, Platinum. Tiger Woods, PGA Tour 2007. World Tour Soccer Challenge Edition. We also have FIFA 06 and Pro Evo 06 as well. So it's just a good excuse just to bulk out the collection. And uh, I need to get to the stores, sort out my PSP games so that I can start offloading some because uh, there's a few. And now it is Saturday car boot time. Now I didn't pick anything up for a bloody long time. The weather was absolutely terrible and the cars were just not coming in. It was getting to the stage where when a car would come in, they were getting swamped pretty much straight away because obviously there's a lot of buyers there and there just wasn't enough sellers. So there was a guy selling a box Nintendo Wii with a, a big box version of Wii Resort or Wii Sports, I can't remember. And there was one of these uh, in a box. Now I've got absolutely no idea what it's worth. I paid five pounds, but it's, um, it looks to be odd. And that's my computer turning on. Why is it just done that bloody thing? Right, so there's no barcodes, which leads me to believe that it is a slightly older generation console. Um, and the fact that there's like a slider where you go between the games. Yeah, worth a fiver without a shadow of a doubt. I might well keep it for now. To be honest, I've not quite decided. But yeah, that was my first pickup. I was struggling that much. I'm not going to bother showing you, but I got a black Nintendo Wii, which I paid £15 for. Came with a wheel, came with one remote and one nunchuck. So stick that with maybe a couple of games. We should be looking at a good sort of 30 odd quid or so. So nice and easy. Bought this is, bought, bought this is? That's not a sentence. Bought this game off of one of the other resellers. Uh, he bought a bundle for a pound each. Uh, one of the best games there was like, um, it was a Street Fighter mixed with something else. And I honestly cannot remember what it was. But um, he was said he was going to give me it, but I ended up just giving him a quid for it because uh, it's just easier. So Dragon Ball Z Budokai, Budokai uh, on the PS2, that was a pound. And I actually bought this one off of the same guy who I bought the, the black Wii off of. So GTA San Andreas, complete with manual, looks absolutely immaculate. Can't stop picking these up because... Um, I don't quite know why, to be fair. Um, I've probably got enough copies to start building a house. Towards the end of the car boot, I picked up a couple of DVDs. Uh, this guy also had a load of Pokemon cards, but they were too new for what I was after. He had a few Funko Pops, but the boxes were absolutely battered. He had mainly 
No, he had only football characters, and it was uh, Man United and Liverpool, which, to be fair, is not two football teams you would associate someone with having both of. So, picked up Toy Story, um, and, yeah, that's a special edition. Not worth a great deal, to be fair. We also have Toy Story 2. I think at the moment, there's quite a lot of competition out there. So, you're looking at around £2.50, £3 posted each which again is not a great deal. Uh, they were 50 pence each, also bought a PSP controller. Controller, no, that's definitely a charger, which to be fair, I needed because I did have a white PSP with no charger. So it now means that I can stick this with it and get rid of it along with a load of PSP games. So that will be on eBay probably while you guys are watching this. It might already be sold, you never know. So that was £1.50. Someone else actually picked this up. And he put it back and he was a reseller. So definitely, because um, I've seen him about a few times and I know he's picked up gaming stuff and he was picking this up. He was having an R in for a good two and a half, three minutes and then put it down. But for £1.50, uh, I personally don't see a great deal of these. So I don't know why he didn't pick it up for the sake of only £1.50. Packing tape, £4 for six rolls. That should last me a little while, I hope, because... Um, I've got a few left, but yeah, I am running low, so nice gold or some. And the very last item, because yes, as I said, this car boot was absolutely diabolical, although I left about eight o'clock, just as it was starting to rain. So maybe some of the other guys had a bit better luck, but I actually bought this off of the same guy that I got the Wii and San Andreas off of. He wanted four pound. I would have paid a four pound, but someone right in front of me um, was buying something else for four pound, offered him three, and he took the three. So I offered him three. And he took the three. So uh, it is a picture millionaire, which is licensed by Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? It's a sealed 2004 board game. I had a very, very quick sneaky scan um, on the eBay app. And they're going for about 15 quid pre-owned. So I would hazard a guess that we will probably wait until Christmas. No doubt Jeremy Clarkson will be doing a Christmas special again. So uh, fingers crossed. I've got a lot of sealed board games to get rid of in the fourth quarter. That's going to be fun. And there we go. That is absolutely everything. As I said, it was diabolical. Uh, again, work has been absolutely crazy. I've just not had the chance to get around to, to charity shops. I've maybe done, excluding the ones that I bought the PSP games off of, I've probably been to maybe four or five which I literally just in passing, like I'd go to, to co-op and get me breakfast, not me breakfast, me lunch, and I can go and hit that charity shop, that charity shop, go and get me lunch, and just sort of do that on, if I can, on a daily basis. But it just depends on where I'm thrown at the time for work. So swings and roundabouts, I suppose. You can't be everywhere at once. Um, yeah, it didn't do a great deal today. Uh, I woke up early, woke up at five in the morning. So I was like, you know what? There's no point in waking a wife up. Might as well just get up and go. So I've uh, been back a little while and she said that I didn't wake her up, which is even better, which means more brownie points for me. But yeah, didn't pick up a, a bloody thing um, that was really worth noting. It's just normal stuff. I know Jason got an N64. Uh, there was a reseller there who, well, I would say reseller. He's more of a collector. I think he was just clearing out a lot of stuff he didn't want. Uh, he did have a Dragon Ball Z Super Famicom game, which I missed out on. He did say he did try and put it to one side for me, but obviously with the car boot being how it was today, pretty much just opening the car up, you, you're going to get swamped, unfortunately. So yeah, he couldn't keep hold of that. But it is what it is. I know the guy who picked it up, um, I did ask if he was going to resell it. He said he doesn't know. It's not worth a great deal anyway because it's American, blah, 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 blah. So if he does go around to get rid of it, no doubt he will give me a shout. Um, yeah, swings and roundabouts. And it was the same guy I actually got uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai on a PS2 off of. So he knows what I'm into. So if he wants to get rid of it, then hopefully he'll give me a shout because, um, yeah, that's the way it goes, really. So fingers crossed tomorrow is going to be better. Um, I wouldn't lay money on it personally because it's, it's, I don't know, last week was quite good. It was really, really good. So by the law of averages, it means that tomorrow is going to be 
abysmal. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. If you want to be entered into the giveaway, just leave a comment. It is as simple as that. As you may be able to tell, I've had three coffee so far today and it's only just gone half 12. Thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. I wonder how fast I can talk without actually breaking cycle and forgetting what I'm about to say. See you later.